since this past weekend one of my listing went on the contract this past Saturday and I feel like I was on top of the world my listing was multiple offers so I feel like I did an amazing job and now it's Wednesday and I have not scheduled any listing appointment and I'm sick I just want to let you guys know this is the moon that you're constantly gonna feel in real estate. Like one day it's gonna be great, awesome, exciting. The next day it's gonna be like let. It's like it's not, you know, something that you, it's just, some days might not feel very rewarding, which is why the drop rate is so high for a lot of new agents. It's cold calling, if you think about it, it's the most easy job ever. But if you're afraid of rejection, it might be a different case. A lot of people, they can't not deal with being on the phone. They cannot deal with being rejected over the phone. It's all a mental thing. But physically, I don't think cold calling cause anything. I don't think it's a terrible job. It really isn't. way to get new leads 2020 go uh, uh, I mean probably open you probably want to do open houses if you're brand new for listing agents yeah but it's not efficient hi guys so welcome back to my channel this is Luna over here for those of you guys it's your first time on my channel uh, I am a Philadelphia based real estate agent so in today's video I want to talk about the top five most efficient way to get leads in real estate if you are in real estate agent you know the biggest challenge for new agents are to find new business and the only way to find new business is to find new leads so how can you find new leads without paying for it or at least pay a little minimum fees for the leads and get efficient leads so you can close the deal and make some money. So let's get into it. And the first way that I think everybody has been talking about it and it worked out really well for me is for sale by owner. So if you guys go to my first video when you come on my channel, it has a breakdown of how much I made in my two years of selling real estate. It has every single transaction breakdown and you will see a big chunk of my business is based on for sale by owner. And for sale by owner, it is kind of challenging because you can find the numbers on Zillow. However, they get bombarded by a lot of real estate agents, but 70% of those agents, they don't have a good follow-up system. So what I recommend here is to incorporate with a really efficient follow-up way, you have for sale by owners on Mojo, and you set up to follow up with them every two weeks and try to give them a call the first time when they hit on Zillow within the first couple of days. And if they don't pick up the first day, switch your phone number, call them again, and make sure you talk to them on the phone, immediately send them your business card, and then follow up with them every two weeks, depending on how urgent they wanna sell the house. But if they say, 
hey, I'm not really thinking about selling it. Maybe I will start considering to list with an agent in three months. Then you cut that time in half. Another thing that's very important with FISBO is if you can get a chance to meet with them, to lay eyes on the property, to get a preview opportunity, definitely set them up. Don't expect to get your listing signed right away because with FISBO, it does take a lot of touch up, a lot of follow ups. But if you could get a FaceTime, you can get in the door before other agents. That's a great opportunity for you. So ask them if they are going to set up an open house time or if it's okay for you to lay eyes on the property. That way you can show up, provide them some opinions, give them your business card, show them your marketing you know, materials. So that way you will be one step ahead of all the other agents. Next one is farming. So <clears throat> I love the idea about farming so much. And without farming, my business will not be the way I am currently. So with me, I always do cold call. I spend hours of the time on the phone. However, I only target a specific radius surrounding my office because I think those area is my farm. I want to build trust, build recognition among all those homeowners. So what I recommend you guys to do is definitely if you're new, if you're new agents, talk to the agents in your office, see if they have current listings that are on the market right now, ask them for opportunities to have you set up time for open houses, offer them free open houses, you know, you're gonna hold open houses for them. And at the same time, maybe door knock among the blocks that's in that particular listing. And if you can get your own listing, what I recommend you to do is to get Mojo Dialer, triple line dialing system, not the single line, but the triple line, and go on the neighborhood search feature and to get all the phone numbers in the surrounding area of your listing and do cold call. So that's a very efficient way and it helped me tremendously to build my business. I have talked to homeowners a lot of time when they received my business card because I was so close to their house. It's only five minutes down the road. They say, oh, I like this girl because her office is right down the street. She knows the market and I trust her. So the next one, I think it will be YouTube. And YouTube definitely takes way longer to convert your business. However, if you think about YouTube, Google owns YouTube and YouTube is the biggest search engine. A lot of videos on YouTube, the content exists forever. As a real estate agent, you want to post valuable content on YouTube and you want to target keyword. Here's a great example for you. Like me, I'm a real estate agent here in Philly. So if I'm posting a video, I want to target Philadelphia, Philly. I want to ta target Philadelphia real estate. I want to target Center City. I want to target all the area counties here in Philly because I want to get buyer leads. I want to share tips about how to sell your home 2020. Why? Because my target audience are sellers. So think of all these content. It's going to help you build your momentum of posting more videos. Therefore, when people are searching a problem, you provide them the question to answer their problem. They will subscribe and they will give you a call because they will think of you as the local expert that they need when they are purchasing or selling home in that area. All right, guys, so my battery accidentally just died. Um, let's get back to the video. So the fourth one is community and it could be anything. For example, like Bible group, gym, you know, nail salon, like gym or nail salon or your favorite takeout place and ask if it's okay for the owner to have you place your business card on the display, um, you know, like the checkout session if that's okay because every time I go to this Thai place I see a bunch of realtors information on there so you know be sure to ask if it's okay for the owner to for you to put that on the display you're using like passive 
you're not constantly like sending people the message that you ask them to buy or sell instead you should always like you should add them on your social platform and post valuable information to constantly remind people that you are in the business for example you have some achievement you were like the rookie of the year or something take a picture or you just sold the house or something take a picture um just don't be like too you know salesy um last but not least i want to talk about is to ask for business i have told you guys my first ever listing was a listing that my broker gave it to me so i took it as four percent commission and i only kept 1.5 percent and in here if you are new or if you are a struggling real estate agent what you could also do is one to ask your broker for business because your broker gets the split and your broker is the person that wants to see you to be successful. Um, also, to ask listing agents in your office or mega agents in your office for business as well. You can start by asking them, hey, I know you're busy. I see you have so many actives. You're doing great. You know, I admire you so much. If you have any, you know, showing requirement or you get calls from the sign you won't be able to be there i'd happy to do the showing for you if you have any open house opportunity you can be there i'd happy to you know do the open house for you and just show them that you're there to help them and also keeping note a lot of listing agent myself included um they like to purchase for leads so i have purchasing zillow leads for twice and a lot of times Zillow will give me a call, you know, um, like in the early mornings or later at night, they send me those random leads of the area that I subscribed. I ignore those calls most of the time now. Like I don't have time to entertain with them. It's usually low quality leads or people are looking to buy, but they're not ready. Or people are, you know, they call from to see this particular house, but I don't have time to show them. So. I will say 50% of these phone calls and these good leads that people are ready to buy, I wasted it because I don't have time to qualify them or I don't have time to schedule showing for this particular buyer. So if you are a new agent, you're struggling, you don't have business, make sure that you go talk to the listing agents or mega agents who are purchasing Zillow leads, asking them, I'm here to help. You know, if you want, I can close a deal and give you 20%, no problem. Well, I, you'd rather not say that, but you know, you could when you're first starting out, if you really don't have any business opportunities, give them some incentives that you're willing to work and you can help them close the deal and they can make some extra 20% because the deal, those leads are going on a waste. So here are the five uh, great ways for you to get leads for real estate. If you are still watching at the end of this video, please go comment on my video, uh, comment fortune cookie. It's been a long way coming. So I really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you have any other topics that you want me to make a video of, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. This is Luna over here. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one.